I'm Marcin Misiewicz, Head of Support at Silver. We're on site at the Silver headquarters in Kraków, where we're currently retrofitting our office lighting. I'm going to show you step by step how we're commissioning our luminaires and how quick and easy the process is. For the sake of convenience and cost efficiency, we've divided the commissioning process into two stages. First, as part of the planning stage, I'll perform the initial commissioning activities sitting comfortably at my desk. We can do this even before the installation of the luminaires is completed. When the installation is ready, we'll finalize the process during the on-site implementation stage. We're going to start a new project in the Silver web app and upload a new floor plan. We'll need to create zones in locations where we need certain lighting behavior to occur. Here we have one of our conference rooms. It's not that big, so I think one lighting zone will be enough. Let's give it a descriptive name. Next, let's choose a lighting profile for the zone. In the app, there is a list of predefined profiles for different types of spaces. One of them is conference room, which uses a combination of occupancy and light sensors and switches and will work perfectly for us in this case. As you can see, the scenario is initialized with default parameters, which we can adjust at any time. Let's leave the defaults for now and continue creating zones for the rest of the profiles. Okay, so we're done with the planning stage. While I was busy planning, the installers were replacing the obsolete luminaires in our conference rooms. The new luminaires should be installed now and ready for commissioning. Let's go and see. They did a good job and everything seems to be ready. In this room, we have occupancy sensors, light sensors and luminaires. These are all qualified Bluetooth mesh components from different manufacturers. Here is a Bluetooth and Ocean switch. It's an energy harvesting device which doesn't require any batteries. Let's start the second stage of the process and commission these devices using the Silver mobile app. Opening our project and navigating to the zone we'd like to work on, we can add nearby Bluetooth devices. There are many of them in our vicinity so we can use the slider to narrow down the list. This way, we can start adding devices that are very close to where I'm standing. The conference room profile that we chose uses occupancy sensing and daylight harvesting strategies, which requires us to calibrate the ambient light sensor. First, let's identify the sensor we'd like to use by selecting it in the app. Next, Let's take a light meter and measure the level of light in the room. We'll now input this value into the app to complete the calibration process. Now we can configure specific scenes for our zone. Let's make a presentation scene, where the luminaires close to the screen are dimmed down. We'll set up one more scene. Let's name it Maintenance with a uniform output for all the luminaires.
Lastly, to add in an ocean switch, we will scan its QR code. This switch will dim and control the luminaires. It will also recall the various scenes we configured earlier. Looks like we're done. Let's test it to make sure that everything is configured properly. We can test individual lamps, the whole group, as well as verify sensor performance. It looks like our zone works perfectly. So there you have it. A lighting zone with occupancy sensing, daylight harvesting, manual control, and custom scenes. That's quite a lot of features and it took us just several minutes. This is a silver commissioning experience. Well, I've got a couple zones left to commission, so I'll have to leave you for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.